Hi, I'm Drew, owner of Connoisseur Concentrates. And I'm Kendall, logistics coordinator at Connoisseur Concentrates. Today we're going to be explaining our solution sample pack, what comes in it, and how to correctly use it. Connoisseur Concentrates has created an all-natural terpene blend solution that can be used with any extract to turn it into a liquid to be used in any vapor pin without the need for PG, VG, or PEG. Our solution is geared to industrial manufacturers of vapor pens, dispensaries, and people wishing to start their own company manufacturing vapor pens. Our sample pack is a great, inexpensive way for you to try a few flavors and see what you like before committing to some of our larger sizes. Our sample packs include three different flavors of our solution with 0.6 grams in each vial. It also has three disposable vapor pins which match each flavor. It also has a mixing vial and eyedropper to fill your pins more easily. We found that you only need about a half a gram of the solution to turn any extract into a liquid for a vapor pen. It depends on how hard your starting extract is and how soft you want your ending viscosity to be, depending on what type of vapor pen you're using. So for a hard shatter, normally you use about a half a gram. If you're starting out with a softer oil, sometimes you can use a quarter gram, and depending on how soft your oil is, for CO2 extracts, you may only need a few drops. To start, you take the mixing vial that was included in your sample pack, put it on your scale, and tear it out. Then you add one gram of your extract into the mixing vial. Once you have your extract weighed out, it's time to add your solution. You may notice, depending on what flavor you pick, that your solution is separated, which is perfectly normal. It's a variation between the terpenes and the flavoring, and once you mix it in with your extract, it's going to stay blended and not separate again. So go ahead and shake up your bottle a little bit, open it up, and you're going to want to add approximately 0.3 to 0.5 grams, and it's really going to depend on what type of extract that you started with. Again, if you started with something hard like shatter, go ahead and add a half a gram. And if you started with something pretty runny, start out with a third of a gram. You can always add more, it's a little harder to add less. Once you've added your solution to your extract, it's time to blend the two together. You have a couple different options of doing this. Normally what we do is we just heat it up a little bit with the lighter in your sample vial, and it's gonna mix in real nicely. It takes about 30 seconds of blending, and then you're all done. We all know that heating your extract can darken it, so there's a couple different options. If you're really interested in not darkening your oil at all, you can let it sit overnight or sit there and stir it for a while with no heat, and it's gonna blend in together. If you just wanna get it done, heat it up just a little bit, and it's gonna blend in real quickly, although you may just get a shade darker. For today's purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up with the lighter and let you see what it looks like when you blend it using just a normal flame. What we recommend is that you heat the solution with the lighter just until it starts to boil. You'll see it bubbling just a little bit. It's already hot at that point, you don't need to heat it anymore. Then you take your stir rod and start blending the two together. It's very simple. It's important to note that it may not blend in the first five seconds. Sometimes you gotta take 30 seconds to blend. If you're in a rush, you can heat it a little more, but a little patience is uh, helpful here if you're trying to retain your color. That heat is enough to blend most things, and simply stirring it for 20 or 30 seconds is good. If you notice it's not fully blended or it's not the way that you like it, just add a little bit more heat to it and continue to stir and it'll blend right up for you. If you're making see-through vapor pens like the 510 styles and color is extremely important to you, just let it sit overnight. If you let it sit with no heat, it's gonna dissolve and blend on its own. You're not gonna lose any coloring and it's gonna work perfectly. If you're filling the burner included in the sample pack, you're going to notice that there's a small white tube on the inside of the burner. Make sure that your liquid does not go in that tube. That's an air return tube. There's a sponge on the exterior of that tube. That's where you're going to want to put your liquid. Make sure not to overfill your burner. You only want to put a half a gram. You want to make sure that the liquid gets all the way absorbed into the sponge or it's going to leak out of the top. Remember, it holds about a half of a gram, which is about one inch up from the bottom of your eyedropper. Once your sponge is fully saturated with liquid, we've included some tops for your pens. Go ahead and put your top on, and then you're ready to go. Each pen is rated for about 400 puffs, which means that it's realistically going to hold one half gram. You'll go all the way through it. Uh, you may be able to fill it one more time, but it's really only rated for one use. But if the battery lasts, go ahead and give it a try. 
Remember that our disposable pens are simply that. They're just there in case you don't have your own vapor pen. It's not going to replace one of the really cool vapor pens that you can buy at the store. Feel free to get any vapor pen you want. They work well in any vapor pen. But in case you don't have one and you don't really want to run out to the store and commit to that, we've just included some inexpensive ones in the kit so that you have something to sample without having to run all over the place. Once you've had a chance to play around with our sample pack and find out if this product works for you, contact us. We have larger options for the solution. We've also got some good options on all the disposable pens. We have a good line, um, the 510 pens. Any hardware you need, let us know. We also have some solutions for filling, bottling, and any size scale we can accommodate you with. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoy your sample pack. Please write us a review and let us know what you think. And for larger applications, be sure to check out our bulk mixing instructions. See you soon.